Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Automobile license plates come in all kinds of colors and designs. Using the techniques in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create your own. This document is twice as wide as it is high. It's 1280 by 640 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. We'll create a new layer by clicking on the New Layer button. Click on the foreground color. For my license plate, I'm choosing E6E 5DB. Call up your rounded rectangle tool and make sure the Fill Pixels button is highlighted. I'm using a 75 pixel radius based on the size and resolution of this document. Click near the top left corner and drag the tool to the opposite corner. When you release your mouse or pen, the shape will automatically fill with the color you chose. Double click on the shape to call up the layer style window. Click bevel and emboss and choose chisel hard for the technique. The direction is up and the size is 3. We'll change the angle to 135 degrees and the altitude 53. We'll make the shadow 35 percent. Check contour and then click OK. Let's change the base to a gradient metal. Click on it to make it active and then call up your gradient tool. Click on the arrow next to the gradient box and then click on the inside arrow to call up your gradient presets. Choose metals and then click append. I'll click on these neutral tones and then go to the left of my document. Press shift and drag out a line to the opposite side. Click on your license plate to make it active and go to filter noise and add noise. We'll make it 2% Gaussian and monochromatic. This gives the license plate a subtle texture that's seen in the reflective paint. Press Control or Command as you click on the layer to call up its selection. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. We'll contract it by 12 pixels. Click on the New Layer button and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with the foreground color. Go back to Select, Modify, and Contract. This time we'll contract it by 20 pixels. After it's contracted, press the Delete key to delete the shape from the layer. Go to Fill and slide it to zero. Double click on the layer to open up the Layer Style window and click Outer Glow. Make the Blend Mode Normal and the Opacity 20%. Click on the color box and choose Black. Make the size 40 pixels and for the contour I'm choosing Notched Slope Rounded. Feel free to experiment with different contours. Click Bevel and Emboss and change the depth to 400%. Change the size to 8 pixels and soften it 5 pixels. Make the highlight opacity 40% and the shadow 10%. Click on Color Overlay and then click on the color box. I'm going to choose a dark blue. We're ready to set the text. Click on the Type tool and then click on the Character Text button. I'm choosing a font called License Plate which you can download for free at fontspace.com. Click on your document and type out your text. Highlight it and then increase its size. To reposition it, call up your Move tool, click on your text, and move it. Go to Layer and Rasterize Type. Double click it to call up its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss and change the style to Outer Bevel. We'll make the size 13 pixels and we'll soften it 7. Uncheck Global Light and type in 126 for the angle and 42 for the altitude. We'll make the highlight opacity 100% and the shadow 40%. Check Contour and click OK. Let's make a copy of the text by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Double click on Bevel and Emboss. Choose Inner Bevel Make the shadow opacity 56%, the size 9, and soften it to 3. 
go to filter noise and add noise we'll make the amount four percent Gaussian and monochromatic this will add noise to our text which makes it blend in better click on the license plate to make it active and then press the new layer button to place a layer right above it we'll use this layer to start making the mounting holes in the license plate call up your rounded rectangle tool and drag out a small pill shape Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy. Press the letter V to call up your Move tool. And hold Shift as you click and drag the copy across to a position equidistant to the other side. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge these two layers together. And Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy. Click on the copy, press Shift, and with your Move tool, drag it down. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge these two layers together. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on this layer to call up the selection. Now that we have their selection, we can drag the holes to the trash. Click on the license plate base to make it active, and then press the Delete key to delete these shapes from the base layer. Press Ctrl or Command plus D to get rid of the selection. Let's add a drop shadow onto the background. Double click the effects to call it up. Click on drop shadow and make the opacity 45%. Make the distance 7 pixels and the size 2. We're ready to add the rest of the text. Click on the top layer and click on the character text box. I'm choosing Arial Narrow Bold. Type out the rest of your text and move each line in position. I want to italicize Land of Lincoln so I'll highlight it and choose Narrow Bold Italic. If there isn't an italic in the font you can always click on this symbol. I'll call out my Move tool to center it. To duplicate the bevel and emboss effect press Alt or Option as you click on it then drag it up to the layer you want to duplicate it to. For this smaller size font, I'm going to reduce the size and softness of the emboss. Double click on the bevel and emboss under the layer, and I'll reduce the size to 9 and the softness to 4. Now press Alt or Option and then click on the bevel and emboss effect from the land of Lincoln to duplicate it to the Illinois text layer. The faces of the smaller lines of text still need to be beveled, so we need to make copies of these layers. Hold Shift and click on the non-active layer to make it active, and then drag both of these layers to the new layer icon. Double click on the bevel and emboss of the Land of Lincoln, and change the style to inner bevel. Reduce the size to 3 pixels, and soften it to 2 pixels. Reduce the highlight opacity to 75% and click OK. Now just duplicate this for the Illinois text. Have fun creating your own automobile vanity license plates. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.